time to take a breather. While everyone got back to work Monday morning, CrossFitters got to take a break thanks to its unique workout schedule. The schedule is three days on and one day off throughout the week, meaning three days of working out and one day of rest. We think that that's the best way to do it because for three days you can push the intensity or intensity level, and by the fourth day your intensity level declines. So we recommend on that fourth day to take a rest day. Asgard says when most people start, they tend to think they always have to go, go, go. But she says the rest day actually enhances is the workouts. Your muscles recover at that time, they get stronger, they need to recover in order to improve. Just because it's a rest day, it doesn't mean it's a nutritional cheat day. Asgard recommends not scheduling a cheat day, just in case a situation comes up unexpectedly where you may have to cheat. There are also little tricks and substitutions that you can make to help you out. If you're a big pop drinker, you slowly take that out of your um, nutrition plan and, and replace that with water or there's even flavored water out there if you need some uh, taste to it. If you feel up to it, try to do something active on the rest day, like a walk around the block or a leisurely bike ride. But take it easy if you're sore. If it's something that's hurting, you shouldn't push through anything. Um, you need to rest if you're overly tired. Always listen to your body and what your body is saying. Follow us on Facebook to join the conversation and share your fitness story with us. Be sure to tune in next Monday night for part five. Reporting for ABC 10 and the CW5, I'm Sarah Mack.